What were the what were the differences in the two scrimmages? Was there a little different emphasis today? Or? Uh, the setup was pretty similar. I mean, put the ball down and play. We got some special teams work. Uh, ended in the red zone. Um, you know, I thought it was, there was better play offensively for sure. You know, moving the ball, scoring a couple times, and uh, and got a lot of reps for the kind of that group that's on the fringe of being a starter or solidifying being the backup or getting on the travel squad. And, and so I thought that was really good, the energy. Uh, a few good plays on each side. A couple turnovers, fourth down stops, conversions, touchdowns. So uh, was really pleased with it. Seemed like the big, one of the takeaways from last week was the offense was a little sloppy. It was a little, little clean. Yeah, it was better there, penalty-wise, less you know stalling because of a penalty holding this kind of thing. Uh, so it, they were a lot cooler. Anybody, uh, anybody kind of catch your eye today? Good play. Or uh, Jack Connie had a couple of good tackles. Jimmy Volson had a couple of big plays in the past game. Uh, those two stand out. I mean, without kind of watching the tape, I thought Jam ran the ball pretty well. I thought the first group offense, you know, that whole line did a good job and chance and moved the ball pretty well and made good decisions with it. Yeah. We're, we're for position battles. You've got Portland and then two more practice, really. How? We're widening down. Yeah. How, what are the what are the most competitive position battles still left? Yeah, I think uh, kind of that fifth DB in the game. You know, when you know we're playing nickel, uh, that, that's pretty competitive. The running back rotation is competitive. I think uh, you know Luke's can obviously play a lot of tight end, but kind of behind him with the way you know Overman's coming along, and even JT Burns does some things. Game no burn. Jack Bellion had a couple catches today, so I think that's something we're trying to solve. And then even on the special teams in, I think we got a lot of guys that want to play on teams and be a starter, and that's been really competitive. Outside of uh, Damian Martinez, what other freshmen are you starting to feel like see, see the field early? In the yeah, season? he stands out for S1. Um, you know, you love the idea of a redshirt for a lot of them or most of them. I think that's what we'll end up doing. But with this four-game rule, we might take a good look at a guy early in the season. I don't know anyone in particular. I know in the depth of the old line, we like these young people. Got to get in that rotation of maybe being around the twos, but same thing at, at, at DB. So right now, Damien for sure. Yeah. No, I mean there's no other name. If it's not right now. When it comes to this, those younger guys, what do you look for from scrimmage one to two? Well, improvement. You know, and again, that first scrimmage, you got a lot of skiing in on whatever side of the ball, and so that's a lot to digest and then really play well. And so they get another week where the install's gone way down a week of practice and then I thought it showed up today. The comfort level, they're playing faster uh, because of you know understanding and getting reps at the concepts. Who would you say won won the day offensive defense? Yeah this one wasn't clear cut. I mean there's, there's both plays on both sides. I think moving the ball and things I don't I'd call it 50 50. Is that about what you wanted to see from this one though after that first one being so yeah. kind of excited? Because <laughs> it was one sided on the on the first one pretty good which is common and so um, yeah I was pleased the back and forth and both sides making plays. It feels like this camp was probably the most quality of high, of high play of the five you've had. What, what, what would be your biggest concern you know, at this point? Because you got to have concerns. Oh, yeah, we do. Uh, I do think the quality, you, you don't totally know until you, you actually play. That's two weeks from today, so we'll find out exactly. We'll learn a lot of that. Um, I, you know, again, I go back to the special teams thing. I think we got a lot of guys that can contribute there. But eyes on the specialist thing, you know, Dim Dylan, our snapper's been limited a little bit during camp, so he hasn't gotten a ton of reps, kind of seeing where that's at, and that affects the kicker, Everett. Um, you know, and, and then you're trying to build some depth. Again, you know, we, we think we got, you know, a first group that we like to roll out there, but we, you, know, you can play a lot of guys, and so we got to keep adding to our depth. This, this coming week, is it is it a camp week? Is it, like, does it start to meld into, like, game week? Yeah, later? transitions. How, yep. how do you... What are the goals of the week? Yeah, we got a couple more kind of camp days, and then we'll wrap that up more or less Tuesday night. And then uh, we will not practice Wednesday or Thursday, and then transition into added kind of bonus practices for game week. feel like you've seen what you need to see out of the quarterbacks, or is there more than um, they could possibly this was a This was a day we, we really want to take a look at this tape uh, with all three guys to really set a pecking order. So, no, we're still, still looking. Is it, is it any different though coming out than it was going into camp? Does Nolan, does he still look like he's? Yeah, he's played well and he's gotten the majority of reps with the ones. Um, but 
those other guys have gotten in their bin, had a couple good plays today. Tristan had a couple good throws today, but that hasn't changed. At this point as a whole, do you feel like at this point in camp that team has sort of that urgency? Like you mentioned, obviously you're only a couple days away from sort of transitioning into a game week. Have you seen what you need to see out of your team? Today? Yeah, and so far what we, we, we wanted to accomplish, yeah, yeah. You feel good at where we're at. We've still got two huge weeks um, that we've got to, you know, improve, dial in. But it'll, there's going to be a transition here where now we're not just focused on ourselves. We're focused on our opponent. Our, our goal and Julian close to Yep. Yeah, Anthony did some stuff today. AJ did not, but hopefully in the next few days he'll, he'll get more. Nobody got carted off today. No, not nothing serious nothing at all. Good. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, practice always matters, but but is there a little bit more stock in this Portland practice because if you guys are going to be playing there this year now? Or? Well, we're going up there just kind of experience the place. This is going to be a super light practice. This won't be. Uh, these guys won't be breaking a ton of sweat and things. We're just going to experience the place, kick the ball, catch the ball, see what it looks like, that kind of thing. You, you mentioned you were going to have a night practice. You know, like a week, uh, week from today. Yeah. Exactly. 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 Biggest question, who gets the cone ice? Well, <laughs> yeah, we kind of ended with everybody getting it, but the defense claims they should get it because they did win the little red zone uh, period at the end of it. Of the, the transfer, yeah. Any, anybody looking to maybe claim a, claim a spot, claim some time out of the, 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 the new arrival? The new arrival transfer-wise, I mean, Ryan Cooper, a junior college player, came last half of spring, uh, been around at Chatfield. You know, he had to register last year. He's been around it. You see him contributing. You know, it's a jam. Uh, had some good carries. I could see him being in the rotation at running back uh, the, way he's, the way he's been going. Uh, those guys stand out. All good? Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.